In this tutorial, you will learn about the receipt routing types. The receiving function in the system supports the receipt of purchase orders, return material authorizations known as RMAs, and interorganization shipments in each of these three receipt routing methods direct delivery, standard receipt, and inspection required. These receipt routings are defaulted and controlled in the organization parameters and receiving parameter screen. You can also find them at the item level where you specify the receipt routing. If the Allow Routing Override System Profile option is enabled for the user's profile, the receiving user can override the receipt routing option at receipt time. If you look under Scheduling in the PO lines, you will see a receipt routing option where you can specify whether the item would be received as a direct delivery or standard receipt or if inspection would be required for that item. If your profile has permission to override the receipt routing, you will also be able to change the routing type at the last receiving stage. The direct delivery type is one transaction that you will perform to receive the item and put it away in the warehouse. If the received item is an inventory item, it will go to inventory, and if it is an expense destination type, it will be expensed. The standard receipt option is a two-step process. The first step of the transaction is where you receive the item in the staging area. The second step is to perform the put away action. This is where you put the item into inventory or if it is an expense item, it will be expensed. With the inspection required option, you have to create the receipt first and then do the inspection for the item. You cannot perform the put away transaction before the item is inspected. After performing the inspection, you can either accept or reject the item. Once the inspection has been done and the item accepted, you can go ahead and perform the put away transaction. Let's take a look at some examples. Here we have a purchase order that we'll click on to see the order details. At the bottom of the screen in the additional information section under schedules, we see three line items. If we click on the details icon on any one of these items, we'll see the receipt routing. In this example, the item receipt routing is set to inspection required. Let's click done to return to the line items. When we open the details for the second item, we see that its receipt routing is set to direct delivery. Let's take a look at the last one. The receipt routing for this item is set to standard receipt. So in this purchase order, we have three items all with different receipt options. Let's take a look at how you can view or populate these attributes. Click the Lines tab and then from the Actions button drop down list, select Edit to see where the options are. The change order shows the number 1. This is because the purchase order was already created and our edits will create a new revision of the purchase order. If you scroll down to the line section and click the schedules tab, you will see more information about each line item. If you scroll to the right, you will see the destination type. This is where you specify if the item will be an inventory item to be stored in the warehouse or you directly expense the item and charge it to a charge account. The charge account is specified in the PO line under the Distribution tab. If you continue to scroll to the right, you will see the Receipt Routing column. In this example, the first item is Inspection Required. For the second item, Direct Delivery was chosen as the Receipt Routing, and the last one is set up as a Standard Receipt. If your profile has permission to change the receipt routing, you can do so here using the drop down list options. In this example, we don't need to change anything because this is the PO we are going to perform the receipt transactions on. Let's click Cancel to close this screen. In this tutorial, you learned about the three receipt routings. 
In the following tutorials, you will learn how receipt routing options dictate the number of receipt transactions you need to perform in order to finally receive the item shipped by the vendor.